Okay guys, and here it is. Just by the box, I think you might be able to tell what kind of car it is. Give you guys a hint. It's a Toyota. Smaller car. Sells quite well. Uh, here's a picture of it. This is the uh, E120 generation. Even the box on this is very well done. I don't know if it shows up on here, but you can see... Besides the fact that there's the big Toyota thing, there's actually an outline of the car in the box, which I thought is very cool. You can see the windshield here, side view mirror, the headlight. Very well done. And then here's the back of it. Um, this may look a little different in terms of taillights. You can see the backup sensors. This is a uh, Chinese market Corolla. So the engine is also different. It's a 1.6 liter uh, four-cylinder. I believe it's the 1ZR. FE. I'm not sure if I'm completely right on that. Don't quote me on that. But um, I think it's around 124 horsepower uh, dual VVTi. So here's just some more pictures of the box and whatnot. Uh, this was extremely hard to get. I'm just going to say that right now. This I had to get from Canada. And it was like the last one left. They're like none of these in North America. If you want to get these, you ha usually have to have them sent over from Asia which is very expensive even the shipping for this was expensive It was like thirty dollars just for the shipping from Canada to New York which uh, that, uh, that wasn't cool but you know it's like the only one in the continent so gotta do what you gotta do um, you can see even the styrofoam it's packaging you can see the Toyota insignia the scale the car so without further ado let's pop it open and see what we have ah, there we go take a look everybody Toyota E120 Corolla in 118th scale. It's kind of dusty. There's like styrofoam pack and pellets and whatnot on it. So let's remove it from uh, this. I don't want to like hurt it. Uh, wow, this thing is heavy. This thing's got pretty good heft to it. That's the box it came out of. So forget me talking about all this other useless crap. Here it is. Check it out, everybody. That, of course, steerable wheels. Let's pop the hood. Should be a 1.6 liter. Uh, no, it's, all it's telling me is that it's a uh, 16 valve. I don't know if you can see right here, but 16 valve uh, VVTi. See, there's the insulation for the hood. Motor is very well detailed. Uh, you can see a lot of the wiring here. I know this is probably really not showing up on this camera and I uh, I apologize for that I'll let the hood go back down this thing this thing must have been sitting for a while because it's kind of dirty um, so there's your windshield wipers uh, wheels have pretty good range of movement to them um, you can see the brake discs and the calipers are in there tires are pretty clearly marked as Bridgestones on the top you see the VVTi next to the uh, Turn signal right there, side view mirrors fold, I don't want to push them out too much, uh, mud flaps there, you can see uh, chromed mirrors, I believe this fuel door opens, I'm not sure, maybe it doesn't, I thought they were supposed to, alright, well, it doesn't matter, um, working suspension, and you can see it's got a sunroof, which I know does, uh, it tilts, and like tilts and slides, I don't remember how it works. Oh, wait. Yeah, ah, there we go. Sunroof works. Check that out. I believe you can pull it back, but I don't want to do that in fear of breaking it. Um, trunk. Let's pop it open. Uh, this is the GLXI trim level. I don't know what significance that is in the Chinese market. Uh, there's the lining up there. It's got the spare tire visible there. Uh, parking sensors, you can see there's the rear muffler, um, more tire shots. So let's get these doors open, chrome door handles, and you can see here is the, oh, my bad, inside of the car, beige interior, two-tone, very typical Toyota coloring there, the darker brown on the dash and the, the beige, uh, wood paneling here. Uh, carpeted floor mats, seats do move back and forth, uh, wood rim steering wheel, 
along with the dashboard, gear selector, and whatnot. Uh, the gear selector is very pretty. It's very well done. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, handbrake. I'll get the rear door open. Very similar. Um, you can see the seat belts there, and somebody's car alarm is going off. Uh, passenger door. Oh my god. That's not good. Okay, I'll just pop that back into place. Yeah, that, that needs to be fixed. Okay. Um, well, sometimes those things happen. Um, let's see. Door panel there. See, once again, fabric -y stuff on there. Uh, this door. Uh, you see the parcel shelf there. And I'll flip it over so you guys can see the underside. And look at that. So you can see engine, bottom of the engine, suspension, assembly there. I don't know, is this on display or something? Because it's got a price tag on it. It's kind of odd. Um, but and there's oh, underside. Exhaust comes out there. Suspension. And flip it over for one last shot. And there is my Corolla, guys.